I introduced you to I introduced you to the diamond. And we said that the diamond is used when we are making a decision. In the decision, we said you have a condition. For example, num equals 10. And we said that the condition is either true or false. That's what we said. The condition is either true or false. And here's the let's look at this example here, right? No, no, sorry. That's not the one I want to look at. Let's look at the first one. This is the example I want to look at. There's the decision box. This is my condition. Is num greater than 10? If it's true, I follow this pathway. If it is false, I follow that pathway. Right? This is what we did yesterday, so I'm not explaining that. We input a number. We check if it's greater than 10. If it's greater than 10, if it's true, then you come to this statement and you go to that statement. But if the condition is false, then we come this way. And we we execute that statement and then we then come and execute this statement. This is what we discussed yesterday. Right. Today, I want you now to look at this flow chart. Just, just spend a short while looking at the arrows. Look at the arrows. There's the decision box here. That's the decision box. And look at the pathway that your arrows take. And after you've looked at that, don't worry what's inside of the boxes. Don't worry about that. After you've looked at just the arrows and how the arrows are going, then come back to your first example and look at those arrows. And I need you to understand the difference between these two, just in terms of the arrows. Call this one, and let's call this two. And in two, let's look at two first. I'm hoping you've realized we have this situation. We have this situation. And at the beginning of my lesson, I explained the concept of a loop. But if you look at number one, in number one, it just simply follows this pathway and eventually it gets to stop. So in number one, there's nothing taking you back to the top that's being repeated the way example number two is in a loop. So today's lesson on loops is going to hinge around drawing a flow chart that takes on this shape and form where it goes back to the top and it repeats statements. It goes back to the top, repeat statements until your condition is false. As long as the condition is true, there is repetition. 